G'day cunts, back again, number four. Same deal as before, honest reviews, the um, links to the bands will be in the description, so if you want to hear these guys, see if you think I'm right or wrong, go for it. A lot of people have been sending me stuff in, which is awesome. Send me your stuff, send me stuff that you think I'll like, send me stuff that you think I'll hate, uh, and I'll give it a go. And the first one is a band called The Clinch, out of Melbourne. Um, their album is called Basecamp. Uh, they list themselves as a street punk slash oi band, but I reckon it's mostly oi with a bit of street punk thrown in. Um, and that's not a bad thing, I like a lot of oi. Um, these guys aren't a political band, there's no dodgy right wing Nazi shit going on here. Uh, it's very much a working class oi street punk record. Oi can get a bit boring, a bit same same, but this doesn't do that. Um, I think it's because the the thing that sets these guys apart from a lot of Oi bands is their lead player is really good, and on a couple of songs, he actually gets to let rip a little bit, uh, and they are the best songs on the album. Um, it's one of those bands where I, I get the feeling that I'd really be enjoying seeing them live. Lots of sing along choruses, very rough, tough sounding vocals. Lyrics kind of lend themselves to that whole sing-along, pump your fist in the air thing. They're the kind of band where if you go and see them, you're going to wind up in the front row with some drunken dickhead with his arm around you you've never met before singing along. Uh, I really enjoyed this. Um, yeah, I can't, can't fault this at all as what, for what it is. It's not pulling up any stumps. It's nothing new. It's oi, it's street punk. You know, there's no sophistication to it, and that's not an insult. Um... But yeah, I'd like this. I'd give it three and a half angry fists out of five. If I was in a good mood, I might even give it a four. Uh, you've got to be in the mood for this stuff for me. Uh, and But when I'm in the mood, this is something I'd definitely play again. The Clinch from Melbourne. The album's called Base Camp. It's on Bandcamp. See the links to have a look at it. Um, but yeah, definitely a little bit better than the average joy because... Again, that, that lead player, which you can kind of hear in the background now, he really knows his stuff. He really plays well, and it sets the band apart from the average joy band. I'd like to see these guys live, so um, if you're watching this, The Clinch, come up to New South Wales. I'd like to see his three and a half angry fists out of five. Good stuff. Next up is The Exports. Um, they are a fairly young band out of Melbourne uh, with an EP, five track EP called Stalled. Um, I kind of like this one as well. It's um, Again, it's nothing different. It's fairly traditional punk rock. I like the guitar sound they're getting. I like his vocals. His vocals kind of remind me a little bit of Old Mate from the chats just in the way he delivers them. Uh, and lyrically too a little bit. Most of the songs um, are about they're storytelling songs, much like the chats kind of, they sing about things that go on with them. These guys are the same. There's a great song called Frankston Line, which is about riding the train. Another one about not having any smokes. Um, yeah, quite an enjoyable little EP. Young blokes, um, but it makes you feel like there's hope when there's bands like this coming through that aren't stupid, cheesy, pop-punk, lame bullshit. Um, so yeah, the exports, stalled. I'd give these guys four school uniforms out of five. Uh, quite enjoyable. I liked it. It's catchy. Uh, I found myself, you know, humming along with a few of these. And it was one of those short EPs where you kind of think at 12 minutes, I wish there was more. Um, you know, they're only starting out. They're only young. But this would be a band to keep your eyes on. I'd give this one four school uniforms out of five. Give them a listen. Next up is a song from a band called Reborn Freedom and the song's called Misconception. Now, I don't like this. The, from the, from, even from the description, from the name, Reborn Freedom, I hate the name, it sounds lame. I read the description and this was sent to me, not by them, but by someone who said, give this a listen, you'll probably hate it. And they were right. Um, even looking at their description, it was described as a banger. Uh, I hate that word. 
I hate anyone that describes their own music as a banger, like hand off cock. Um, you know, anyone that talks himself up like that just instantly puts my back up. This is awful, whiny, cliched, pop punk shit. Uh, at first I felt guilty about giving this a bad review because I looked at them and I thought, oh, they're young, you know, do I destroy their confidence? Then I thought, fuck that, this is bad enough that they need to be destroyed. Uh, they're old enough to grow facial hair, they're old enough to know better than doing this shit. Um, just dismal, whiny, emo-esque vocals, cliched about hating where they're from and their town and, you know, they keep singing, I'm not coming back. Well, let's fucking hope not. You know, the, the hopefully that line is prophetic and you're not coming back um, because Jesus Christ... Yeah, just whiny fucking uh, just dross. Um, there's nothing. There's nothing good about this. The lyrics are so cliche. Uh, one of the last lines is "Don't try and call my name because I'm not coming back." Cunts, you've got no fucking fear of that. No one's going to be calling your name anytime soon. This is two fuckwits out of five at best um just when i was saying i had hope for young musicians and young punk scene this whiny fuck off seriously burn your instruments punch yourself in the face repeatedly this is toilet this is toilet just no no fucking no i this is probably my least favorite thing i've reviewed um even worse than girth mother so please don't come back no one wants you back fucking stop it reborn freedom it gave me cancer that's how bad it was next up is a band called rooted with their self-titled three-track ep called Rooted, self-titled, right? Um, these guys are phenomenal. The standout, three track standout is uh, a track called Drone, which starts out very droney. They're a weird mix of like sludge core, stoner metal, groove metal, a bit of grind thrown in. Um, the fast bits don't do them any favors. I reckon they should stick to the slow, mean riffs because they pull off just some amazing dark, nasty angry riffage um the guitar sound on this is just fucking fabulous they're a two-piece um guitarist plays bass as well so live they just play guitar and and uh, drums but on this record he's done done a lot and it sounds really good no idea what the cunt's singing about uh, again fairly ordinary or not ordinary but generic growled vocal could be singing about brushing his teeth, could be singing about, you know, fucking the dog, who knows. But those fucking riffs are just nasty, and they get into a groove, and they just pump on it, and it's fucking fantastic. Um, if, and if you're a stoner, like, they're obviously very bong-centric. They list the bong as a musical instrument. The album starts with him riffing on a bong. Uh, live, they usually have a bong on stage that they're pulling off of. Um, and they're a band that I wish would play less fucked up live because whenever i've seen them live they've been off their face drunk and, and stoned and whatnot i wish they'd play a little bit more sober because they're fucking great um rooted fucking wonderful fucking stoner doom sludge metal nonsense get into it and if you see them live and these cunts are in a bunch of other bands loose, loose unit and a few others um, check out any of their bands because they're all good I really dig these guys though these guys, four buds out of five and you don't even need to be a pothead to enjoy them so, rooted looking forward to the next one go see them live if you can you've got to play this shit loud doesn't do it any justice to play it quietly crank it, go get it, rooted Up next is The Culture Industry out of Wollongong with an album called Who Are We All. 
this is a really good album. Don't be put off by the lacklustre album art. The album art looks like it was put together by a teenager who's just learned Photoshop. Like, it looks like they've put no effort into it at all. Very basic. But you can tell once you listen to this where all the effort went. It went into constructing, recording, and writing a really, really good album. Um, an interesting album. They describe themselves as grunge punk, and you kind of get two bands in one with this. There's a lot of nice kind of straight ahead punk songs and they're really good but there's also a few mid-tempo songs more alt rock than grunge but again really really good the album doesn't always flow uh, in the way they've kind of put everything together just because of the tempo changes but each song individually holds up really fucking well the punk songs are fucking great bangers particularly and I said I hate that word bangers but I'm using it here um, they just great punk rock songs dying in the streets and junkie jesus in particular junkie jesus is a bit of a funny song because one of these guys apparently is a school teacher um and he looks like junkie jesus and gets a bit of shit from the kids it's a great song not crash hot on the guitar solo on that one kind of kills the mood a little bit but it picks up again and i usually love guitar solos but soloing is not this bloke's strong point have a fucking great song and the final song on the album is called young teen criminals i listen to this song fucking eight nine times in a row it's just fucking great um again it's one of their slower ones um but really catchy get stuck in your head humming it singing it to yourself it's a beautiful song in terms of its the way it's written and constructed i love it i really really like this album and i'm going to give this one four dodgy woolen gong geezers out of five um see these guys live when you can hopefully you'll get them on a day when they're not too drunk um i've seen these guys a few times and when they're relatively sober they're great when they're drunk and on god knows what not as good um sometimes but look definitely a band where you should check them out live grab this album if you like punk if you like alt rock um yeah get this it's good culture industry don't be put off by that album art go and get it next up is a band called terra mater or matter with an album which is actually one track called holocene extinction part two which is about 14 minutes long um this was an eye-opener when i heard it when you look at the album it's described as like post-hardcore grindcore metal kind of thing but it's it's more than that there's no i can't even describe it um some of it's kind of bog standard medley but when the violins kick in it's just something else this is a mammoth tune um really takes you on a journey growled vocals um but clear vocals so you can kind of hear what's going on you know what this person is singing about and i believe this the vocalist is female but again that's really deep ground vocals so you can't you can't tell um and it's also the violinist so yeah this just kind of blows you away you can't listen to this in pieces you've got to listen to the full 14 minutes in one go it's quite a trip um yeah i just yeah can't even describe what's going on here for, for parts of it but it's well worth a listen if you like experimental music if you like the weirder edge of metal if you like strings um get this because when those violin when that violin kicks in it's just glorious some of this stuff again some of it's kind of standard medley but once the violins kick in it's on another planet holocene extension 2 by terra matter uh team glasses out of brisbane put this out um I believe the tapes actually sold out yes hipsters putting out tapes yeah whatever um but it's still on Bandcamp. it's fucking great this came out i guess about 12 months or so back and i believe that the singer stroke violinist has now moved away from queensland and gone to melbourne so whether we'll hear any more from this band i don't know but yeah this is a fucking amazing album again something that benefits from a good stereo system to really hear what's going on and that violin is just brilliant holocene extinction part two terra i'm going to give this 
four crusty punks out of five um, but yeah it's great if you like the experimental if you like the weird the left of center stuff check this shit out very good and lastly is the smith street band with i still dream about you their new single now anyone that knows me knows i hate the fucking smith street band so this wasn't a dream it was a nightmare um that being said i thought i'll give it a go i'll i'll try and be unbiased about it and i'll listen to it put it on and for the first 15 20 seconds i was scared i thought holy shit maybe i've been wrong about this band maybe i'm gonna have to eat some humble pie retract all my words because it the first 15 20 seconds of it was this pixie-esque nice intro riff and i'm like okay this is pretty decent fortunately it then morphed into the full band with this awful adult contemporary kind of riff that then went further on to him whining and just sounding shit over bass and drums every time that main riff kicked in it just reminded me of like the worst of the foo fighters b-sides in the later days when they just don't give a shit about anything but radio play this is horrid fuck the smith street band fuck the smith street band will wagner if you're watching fuck you hang yourself with your own scarf i don't want to hear any more shit from you you're fucking awful this is a bad song they're probably bad people well in fact well we've heard all the rumors about will so make of that what you will this is bad you should be feeling guilty about listening to this if you like the smith street band what's wrong with you this is the worst kind of pap just dreadful his voice is awful the riffs are terrible there's nothing good about this short of that first 10 or 15 seconds um which is probably the high point of their entire fucking career this is awful i'm gonna give this one bearded misogynist out of five and those of you who know the stories know what i'm talking about with that um this is bad fuck the smith street band fuck the smith street band and fuck you if you like them that's it no more for today send me some more stuff to review descriptions of the music i've got links to the bands in the descriptions get into it